Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN, and this is a very, very quick video. Um, something I've noticed with my my little Kenwood is um, when I keyed up to try to open my local repeater. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, nothing happens, and I can't understand why. And then I thought, hang on a minute, what about another little handheld? Well, that opened the repeater. Maybe the repeater's dead. So, I got another little uh, handheld out, turned it on. Same repeater. No problems at all. So, swap the aerials over. And funnily enough, the little one opens up the repeater with no problems at all. So obviously, the antenna on that little handheld is broken. So let's have a look and see what we can do. So here we are, this is the antenna. I've had to cut the, uh, the rubber boot off, but I've only sliced it so far and then it all pulls out nicely. Um, my intention is to re-glue that back together with any luck. Anyway, this is the inside of the antenna, or at least part of it. As you can see, it has a couple of um, capacitors. I think that one's a 3.5 3 microfarad. I'll go with that 3.9 or 5. 3.9, 3.5. Mm, don't know. I think that's f a nine, three point nine microfarad, and the other one is also a three point nine microfarad. So we have um, a little matching circuit there for this very stubby little antenna. Um, what is it? It's it's literally only. Um, 20 centimeters in length in total maybe less could be 15 and and this is where the problem is look this is the the part that screws into the that's the male connector that screws into the top of the um, handheld and you can see basically it's snapped off and we need to resolder it god oh, this is so bad for focusing anyway we need to refocus refocus we need to resolder that together i'll super glue it together first and then we'll re resolder the um the copper to it and then we'll see if it swrs well if it works lots of jiggery pokery and let's hope that you can see this so what i have to do is basically solder that wire to there but before i can do that i really do need to glue this back together and what I'm going to try to do is use some relatively quick acting super glue. And we'll put a reasonable splodge of super glue. Oh, you can go mad with this. Not too mad, but mad enough. We need to work out where the antenna is supposed to sit. Yeah, that will do. I do have another pair of hands now to, to squirt some cura on it. Super fast acting. Uh, super glue and I'm not going to rest on my laurels I'm going to put a little bit more super glue on it as well hopefully that will yeah not bad we can live with that I'll put a little bit more super glue on it once I've actually connected the uh, or soldered the wire in. Right. 
let's do some soldering. Okay. Okay, not the uh, the bestest of angles or anything. This has been a bit of a rush job. Here's the handheld. Here's the little antenna which I've just repaired. Ish. I hopefully I've repaired it. We'll just stick it on here. We'll turn the radio back on, which it is, and you all see at the same time as me. Happy. Yeah, relatively. Right, let's put some more glue around it. Ooh. Let's put some more glue around it. Put the casing back on, super glue the casing. And then we'll put some heat shrink on the casing and it should be done. Quick repair, simple. Right. The brake was here. So this is relatively thick super glue. I wanted thick super glue because you've got more time to play with it and it's a little bit easier to sort things out. Downside to it is that you've got to work with it relatively quickly. And it doesn't go into gaps particularly well. Catalyst, that'll make it cure quickly. That's now basically encased in a super glue mass, which of course is non-conductive, but very strong. So if it goes wrong next time, I'm absolutely screwed. I ain't going to be able to do anything with it. And there we are. All soldered together. Now what I've got to do is put the casing back on it. And we'll see. What I need to do is put some super glue down the seam. Which I should do now, actually. So we don't stick the finger together, because that wouldn't be a clever move. be at all a clever move. At least my finger's not stuck to it. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. Okay, so there's the, the glue mark. I might have some uh, heat shrink to put over this. We'll have a look in a minute. What I need to do really is uh, just put it back on the radio and see if it works.
interesting. I wonder if it'll open up uh, the 70 centimeter. M0 MSN just testing access. So here we go with our new heat shrinked antenna and uh, we'll just see. And it opens up that particular repeater, lovely. And let's go down to, to CG. M0 MSN testing access. Beautiful. Obsolete. Wonderful.